What's up guys, thanks for coming back. We are going to build another quad today. This is a Swirly from Winder Wonderworks. Uh, this is their new uh, micro quad. This thing is about the size of a tiny whoop. So here's a tiny whoop, it's an Eachian frame, same difference. And here's the frame that we're gonna use on the Swirly. And you can see that it fits motor to motor exactly the same size. Now when you get the prop guards on there it's going to be a little bit bigger uh, but what's cool about this thing is it is going to run off brushless motors and it's going to run off these little tiny guys right here. This is a what is this? Race Star 1103 8000 kV motor. Um, these are the single strand wires so you will have to remove the copper from it. Well it's going to run on 2S batteries and it's going to use cut down you guessed it, Furious Props. The same thing all these little micro quads are seem to be running. Uh, we're also going to do this is a 10 amp all-in-one ESC and another cool thing about this is it does not run off the Pico. I have mixed feelings about the Pico flight controller. Um, I've had basically something go wrong with literally every one I've owned. So this thing runs off of this. This is a Femto. Look how small this thing is. And for comparison size, here it is next to a Pico. So it's so small it doesn't have mounting holes. Which, of course, the guys at Winder Wonderworks came up with a solution for that. And it is in here somewhere. I don't remember exactly uh, which piece it is. Pretty sure it's this one. Let me get these out of here. We got some camera mounts, of course. Oh, let me just rip it. Here we go. Femto is going to set right down here into this 3D printed base plate. This is printed out of TPU. So it should pop in there. I'm sure there's a side. Yeah, this one right here probably because you got a little, little divot missing for your USB. So anyways, that'll set in there like that and give you a good way to mount it. Well, it's really tight, so that should be perfect. I cannot wait to see this thing built. Uh, Jeff over at, at Winder Wonderworks, uh, winderwonderworks.com. It told me this thing has gobs and gobs of power. Um, I just I cannot wait to see how it performs. So I'm going to start getting the solder together. We have the bottom plate on with the Velcro and these four screws that are going to be used to mount all the electronics. Now one thing I've ran into are these two pieces here are going to sit across from one another. I don't know if you're able to see that across from one another on the frame, and this is what's going to balance your speed controllers off of the carbon. Uh, I've noticed that they don't really fit over here. I probably could screw them in, but I'm just going to take a jeweler's file and just kind of just kind of bore it out a little bit on each side. Uh, uh, one of the ones I filed out, it fell through totally fine and fit perfectly. The other one I had to screw these in by hand, so uh, it depends on how much material you remove while you're filing out these little holes so that the screw will fit through it. Just Take note of the orientation of where things are. So they they go on the opposite opposite sides of one another. This gap in the middle is where you're going to lay your uh, battery strap, and then you're going to lay the ESC in. Now the ESC is pretty cool. I'm sure you guys, most of you guys, have seen this. Um, this got this like little uh, little like Pico plug or whatever this is here. That's got all your channels on it. I have no clue what channels what. Oh, it says on here. Okay, I looked online and couldn't find anything to tell me which motor was which so that's cool I should have looked there a little bit harder um, so I don't have to fit that back in but anyways um, we're gonna set this through these here now I'm all um, so your your motor pads are actually gonna lay across these uh, 3D printed braces here so let me see if I can get this in here. Probably not. I've got a little bit of plastic I need to remove over the holes here. All right, here we go. Got it all removed. And then we're going to lay these here. Okay, so there we go. Lay your uh, motor pads right across the uh, 3D printed bracket there. And that'll keep everything from shorting out on the carbon. Uh, we hope, right? The next thing we're going to put in are these brackets. Now they're also kind of shaped in a certain way where they're flat on one side and, and the rounded edge is on the, the outside. That side is going to go outwards like this. 
really hope all this is a frame on the GoPro. Okay, so they're wanting us to go ahead and solder on uh, where our battery connector is going to go. They're using the JST plug, and they provide you that JST plug, but I have little XT30 connectors on my 2S, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. Uh, and we'll go ahead and plug in our, our wiring harness here, and we're going to route it. We're going to route this whole glob of wires underneath here. So I'm going to turn the camera off, take care of that. When I come back, I'll show you guys everything soldered up with uh, here and this ran through where it's supposed to go. Okay, I got everything in there. I actually went ahead and put the um, one thing I noticed when I put the motors in is they are all Phillips head. Like seriously, that kind of sucked. It was a little bit of a pain in the ass to get them all in there. You, know, you have a hex, you can kind of put the screw in and have the, the hex driver also hold it for you. Um, but overall, it wasn't too terrible. Now we're actually gonna route, route uh, these motor wires up underneath, oh man, this is a mess. Route these uh, motor wires up underneath of this uh, green bracket also and solder them in. But we're not gonna do that um, just yet. I want to, well, yeah, I guess we will go ahead and do that. Okay, we've got all the motors in and wired. You probably do want to shorten these. Mine's a little bit of a mess. Uh, the uh, receiver is also supposed to lay in here. I'm going to go ahead and try to get mine to fit. Uh, one thing don't forget to do, if your uh, all-in-one does not have a 5 volt coming out, you need something to power the flight controller. And the Femto alleges it can take 6S, so you should be able to power just straight from the battery, which is what I did. I ran it off the ESCs here. Um, and up and through so we'll solder that in the next part. I'm gonna again go off camera to do um, we're gonna solder in these uh, ESC wires to the respective plug on the femto and we're also going to power our power uh, We're gonna put on our receiver. I am using spectrum So I got to figure out where 3.3 volts comes from I think here in the boot pad. It says 3.3 um, I'm also going to go ahead and flash this with the latest uh, beta flight probably before I install it just to make sure there's no problems there uh, so we'll come back here in a minute alright guys we're back again I have everything soldered up tested that it works I have flashed the latest version of beta flight once you get your receiver in here you probably should go ahead and bind it especially if you have something you need to push um, I went ahead and soldered my camera because it takes 5 volts to normally where you would put a uh, I believe a Tyrannus module um, just 3.3 and I solder that to the boot pin I put some pictures up for you guys uh, to view that so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything basically just put together uh, then go into beta flight do some settings I'll show you guys my settings probably at the end of the video for what my PIDs are after I get it tuned
whether you guys had it, this thing is a ton of fun. It's super fast. I'm running on a 3S, uh, 450 milliamp. It's recommended to run on a 300 milliamp 2S. I have some of those on order, so we'll see how much the uh, reduction in weight helps with the power. I'd like to find some 300 milliamp 3S, but that might be kind of hard to do, but I'm going to keep looking. Uh, one thing I noticed about the frame that I would change is these little screws that they give you. It's hard to focus here. These little screws that they give you to connect these um, ABS mounts to the frame. Well, it's not going to focus. To the uh, prop guard are super short. Let me see if I can find one over here real quick. They're, they're about that big. Um, and as you can imagine, every time you crash, well, not every time, but a lot of times when I crashed, I was pulling that screw out, and it was causing this whole assembly here to just kind of flap around and, of course, get pro caught my props and break props, kind of like what happened here. Uh, this was loose, and I didn't know. I was flying. It's jiggling around, and it snaps a prop. Quad falls out of the sky. Placed it with this little bit longer screw that comes in these. Uh, you can get these things at Amazon or wherever and uh, just added the normal nut back onto the end of it. Let me get them both here for comparison. So you can see they're, I don't know, it's about a third of the size. And uh, it gives you a little bit more room to trap that nut so that it doesn't come off. Other than that, this quad is a ton of fun. Let's look at the pids real quick. I didn't change a whole lot. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Here we go. I still have a tune the D. Uh, I'm going to do that a little bit later. And I think the eye's all right there. I might bump it up a little bit more, but I need to test that line of sight. Uh, but yeah, pitch and roll P, 55 and 69, 50, 60 on I for P and I. I'm sorry, R and P and 20 and 22. And then I have my rates pretty high. They're actually higher than I fly my mini quad. Uh, but this thing needs a little bit of extra to turn, I feel like. It's super snappy once it does. And I got a little bit of XO because I like it to be a little mushy. But that's it, guys. Hope you liked the video. Uh, you can get these at winderwonderworks.com. The motors, if they're in stock anywhere, probably Banggood, ready-made RC, something like that. Um, and then a little 25 milliwatt camera, which I'm hoping they make a, a mount later to fit the uh, 200 milliwatt on there because this thing definitely... I want a little bit more range on it. I like to fly mine uh, all over the neighborhood. But thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and all.